What is osmosis? Brought to you by my book of chemistry with Dr. Y. The word osmosis comes from the Greek word osmos, which means to push. Osmos became osmosi, and in the mid 19th century, it was Latinized to osmosis. Osmosis is the movement of fluid such as water from a less concentrated to a more concentrated solution through a semi permeable membrane. Imagine a container that has been divided in half by a semi permeable membrane. This semi permeable membrane only allows water to cross but not sugar, just like most cell membranes in animals. Sugar solutions have been added in both sides. One side is more concentrated than the other. The simplest solution to reach the equilibrium would be to move sugar molecules across the membrane until equal amounts of sugar molecules are on both sides. However, the semi permeable membrane does not allow sugar to pass. An alternate solution to this is to move water molecules from a less concentrated to a more concentrated solution until the equilibrium is established. This is called osmosis. Note that osmosis is passive transport, meaning it does not require any energy. Did you know that too much salt on snails can make them dry up and die? Snails produce slime or mucus, which helps them to move around. When you sprinkle salt on a snail, it mixes with the water in the slime, making a salt water solution. This solution has a higher salt concentration than the inside of the snail. The water inside the snail is pulled out of the cells to lower the salt concentration. If you use enough salt, the snail will lose so much water that it dehydrates and dies. It's osmosis. There are many examples of osmosis in our daily life. Number 5. Wrinkled fingers. When we put our fingers in water for a while, they become wrinkly. This is because of osmosis. The skin of our fingers absorb water and get swollen or bloated, making the pruned or wrinkled fingers. Ew. Number 4. Osmosis in plants. Osmosis occurs in plants and that's how plants are able to absorb water from soil. The roots of the plants have higher solute concentration than the surrounding soil, so water flows into the roots. Water will now move from the roots to tubes called xylem vessels and to the leaves. Number 3. Making pickles. The scientific reaction that creates pickles is osmosis. When you put a cucumber in a salty brine, the water inside the cucumber flows out into the brine, making the pickles crunchier. Number 2. Getting thirsty. Why do we get so thirsty after eating salty food? Well, that's because after eating lots of salt, our cells become concentrated with salt and we start absorbing water. So we feel thirsty and we drink more water. Number 1. Relief from sore throat. Ouch. In case you have a sore throat, gargling with warm salt water can help you reduce the pain and swelling. This is because cells and tissues surrounding the throat are swollen due to excess water inside. The salt water, which we use for gargles, has a higher concentration of salt than the cells of the throat. So water molecules move from the swollen cells of the throat to the salt water, thus <sighs> reducing pain and swelling. Doctors generally recommend dissolving half a teaspoon of salt in one cup of water. That's it for today. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.